let's all take a moment to consider the possibility that Russian spies were very good during the Cold War and that they're good today. And not just Russian spies, uh, foreign spies. Because um, during the Cold War, the Russians actually went to space first. I don't know if you guys know that. They didn't go to the moon first, but they went to space first. And um, the Russians took the Cold War very seriously. They built a massive nuclear arsenal. They built a lot of AK-47s. They built a lot of missiles back then. And they tried to get into our government. And how hard is it to get into our government? Well, as long as you're a citizen for what, like seven years, I'm, I'm not sure what the constitution says, you can be in Congress. I'm not sure, and I'm, all, I'm also not sure what the rule is on being in the Senate, but all I'm saying is it's very easy to become a politician in the United States government. It's, it's more difficult to become a high up military official. Um, but all I'm saying is uh, people that have been targeted by foreign spies, like people that are from spy towns, I, I'm from Colorado Springs where NORAD and a bunch of military bases are and like uh, National Geospatial I think is here and um, uh, or, or national, is it national, national reconnaissance? I can't remember. I think they're here. Um, a lot of people are here, the air force, like super duper reconnaissance, um, uh, group is, is located in Colorado Springs. Um, that, that means like they're who, who spies with the satellites a lot. Um, uh, a lot of people in Colorado Springs are, are those people. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's a secret. Um, but all I'm saying is when you're around foreign spies a lot, um, what you find out is, is they exist and they don't break their cover. And so um, right now we're in the situation where the police are mad because they can't ever bust my people because my people never talk. And um, my people, like you, you, you finally bust one of them and they're like, what? what? I, I didn't know I had drugs because they might not have even known they were driving the drugs. Um, I mean, sometimes they might have, but sometimes they might not. And so, um, all I'm saying is, um, when you bust my people, it's very difficult to prosecute them because they don't talk. And so foreign spies tend not to talk. But all, but what I'm trying to say is it's very difficult to get out of certain countries unless you're a spy because the country is oppressive. And so at one point, Donald Trump was saying, every single college student who's from China is a, is, is a spy for China, um, which that's probably what he was feeling at the time because um, the college students at certain schools are pretty much all spies. But they're also, um, that's also the case from other countries also. Um, I'm talking about the college students who, are, who, are, who attend certain programs in the United States are, tend to be spies, but it, it depends on the program. And it depends on the country, but all I'm saying is Russia sends a lot of spies and they blend in very well because they're just white people and they sound like us. What does a Russian's accent sound like? It could be English, it could be American, it could be freaking um, Dutch. They could, be, they could have a South African accent, which probably sounds English or it probably sounds almost American, I don't even know. But all I'm saying is a Russian spy can sound like anyone because they can have grown up in any country and then their backstory is, oh, I'm English. Like you could be, a, not, like a Russian spy can actually say they're English and, and, have, and own an English passport. I mean, and, and that's the thing about like children of spies. I don't think people get it. Like, it's like our government, the United States government is gonna be made up of children of spies someday and everyone's gonna say, well, they have a vote because this is a melting pot and you're allowed to infiltrate our government if you're a child of a spy. And I'd say, I don't think that it should be the way it is because it's very dangerous. Because uh, right now the government's acting like, oh, we're gonna have peace forever. Oh, best friends, everyone, come on, let's all hug. Like that, that's, that's the government right now um, with, with the entire world. It's like, oh, we're all best friends. But in reality, we need to say, okay, yeah, F you, F you, F you, F you, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, everyone's cool. Because most people are super cool, but all I'm saying is uh, we shouldn't act like everyone is our friend unless they're gonna actually be our friend. And right now, Donald Trump wants to be best friends with Russia, it seems like. He, he sure has a lot of respect for Vladimir Putin.